we are now on week 8. Prepare poultry and game dishes. To start with, we will have storage of poultry and game bird dishes. After poultry has been dressed, it can be marketed as frozen wool in halves and cut into pieces. Some parts can be packed separately and ready to cook. Or for easy meal preparation and towing, but poultry can spoil very quickly unless you can handle and store it properly. And today, we will discuss about storage of poultry and game bird dishes. So for handling and storage of poultry after being brought home from the market, it should be unwrapped as quickly as possible and wipe off with a damp cloth so that excess water has been removed. Then, it should be lightly covered with wax paper and can be placed in a shallow bowl and stored it in the freezer so that we can prolong its lifespan since it can easily contaminate it. When you cook poultry, it should be cooled as quickly as possible, then covered it to prevent drying and refrigerate the leftover. If you are saving up space or storage from your refrigerator, you can remove the bones of your poultry to save space. But don't forget to froze your poultry and keep it in the freezer until it is towed for cooking. Always remember class that raw chicken and poultry can carry salmonella bacteria. This is responsible for food poisoning than any other pathogen or the in, or any organism that can produce diseases simply called germs. Fortunately, it is easy to avoid getting sick from chicken and poultry if you follow safe food handling practices with that to prepare poultry properly and for freezing your poultry or other dishes, it should be wrapped tightly in a moisture bay for proof film like canister, foil, or paper and container. Then, don't forget to froze it at 170 degrees Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower because it has always been a good practice to do this so that you can uh, prolong the lifespan of your poultry or any other dishes. Just for you to make sure, you need to apply first in and first out rule. Meaning, uh, the first one to be stored must be cooked first. Why do we need to know about this? Because just like meat or other dishes like fish or any animal-based food products, raw or uncooked chicken or food can carry a certain bacteria like, like what I have said earlier that can cause illnesses. Therefore, we should avoid it. To avoid illnesses, we need to limit bacteria's ability to multiply or kill them all together. And remember class, freezing does not kill bacteria. Either it just makes them cold. The only way to kill foodborne pathogens or viruses or bacteria is by thoroughly cooking the food. That's why we are uh, discussing cookery class. We are discussing how you can properly cook certain food item. Uh, with respect to that, working with uncooked poultry, we should know the cross-contamination. When we say cross-contamination, it can happen when raw poultry or raw food 
or even just its juices somehow come into contact with any other food especially ones that already cooked or ones that will be eaten raw such as salad vegetables or greens it can be contaminated or the bacteria will cross contaminate that's why the food will be easily spoiled So, safe steps in food handling, cooking, and storage are essential to prevent foodborne illnesses. That's why we are discussing this now. You cannot see or smell, taste harmful bacteria. That's why some can be ill. So, here are the steps of food preparation that you must follow. So, we have four steps to do. For us to maintain the safety of our family. The first one is clean. So when we say clean, you need to wash your hands and the surfaces or the working area you are working to or cooking to. So that you, you can maintain the safety of your food item of, or for safety of the food and then when we say separate, don't cross contaminate. Meaning, you need to maintain distance between uh, one food item to another or one ingredient to another so that you can you uh, can limit the food contamination or the cross contamination of bacteria. When we say cook, cook the food in a right temperature. So you need to know uh, the proper temperature for each food item and you can use some utensils or equipment for you to know if the cooking temperature is correct. And for the last one, we have the chill. When we say chill, the food that has not been used or the leftover food must be refrigerated promptly. For safety practices in handling and storing poultry and game products, after shopping, you need to do the following. First, purchase refrigerated or frozen items after selecting your non-perishable so it is a must that you uh, shop first uh, food items that is not perishable like for example um, condiments or uh, food in can before you select any uh, perishable goods such as poultry or other meat products don't forget that the packages of chicken should feel cold when you touch it and should not be among the last item you select before checking out. Never choose meat or poultry in packing that is torn or leaking. So when, when you um, cross check the food that you purchase, make sure that there's no leak or torn in the packaging do not buy food fast meaning you sell buy use buy or other expiration dates so make sure to check the expiry dates when you purchase any food item so that you are you are sure that the food is safe to consume and for the storage always refrigerate perishable food within two hours or one hour when the temperature is about above 90 degrees fahrenheit so make sure that the temperature should be lower than 90 degrees fahrenheit then check the temperature of your refrigerator and freezer when with an appliance thermometer so you that's like what i have said before always use tools that can help you to monitor your food items such as this temperature 
the refrigerator should be at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower or below the freezing point which is 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Another, cook or freeze fresh poultry, fish, ground meat, and variety meats within two days. Other beef, bell, lamb, or pork within three to five days. So once you have purchased any perishable goods such as um, fish, poultry, or other meat products, you should just store it in the refrigerator for at least two days and then after two days you must cook it so don't forget the first in first out method perishable food such as meat and poultry should be wrapped securely to maintain quality and to prevent meat juices from getting onto other food because this is the start of cross-contamination so you make sure that you securely wrap all food items that must be stored in the refrigerator and for you to maintain the quality in freezing meat and poultry in its original package wrap the package again with foil or plastic wrap that is recommended for the freezer so you can use any cling wrap or container such as uh, canisters or any any uh, foils that you can utilize or available at home rinsing poultry before cooking is no longer recommended because when you rinse poultry spreads tiny droplets of contamination around the sink and the kitchen area so bacteria will be present on the poultry and it will effectively destroy it in the cooking process so when we cook the bacteria or viruses is being killed or destroyed that's why rinsing any poultry or poultry um, parts or products is not necessary and how will you prepare your poultry ingredients or poultry dish always to wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds before and after handling food it is necessary that you wash your hands because your hands can be a carrier of any form of viruses or bacteria so we need to follow this so that we cannot transfer any harmful bacteria into our, our food do not cross contaminate keep raw meat poultry fish and their juices away from other food because remember when it is um it is close to any other food and they have a contact so cross-contamination can happen cutting boards utensils and countertops can be sanitized by using a solution of one tablespoon of unscented liquid chlorine bleach in one gallon of water so for you to sanitize our top countertops or our tables when you cook um, dish any dish you can use this one gallon of water to one tablespoon of chlorine bleach or you can use other available sanitizers but make sure that there will be no residue left in the table or in the countertop so that it will not be um, harmful to us so marinate meat and poultry in a covered dish in the refrigerator so always remember that we need uh, to cover any food that will be uh, stored in the refrigerator and for towing but once we refrigerate the food when we freeze it in the refrigerator mag yan in other terms no? mag lalamig siya to the point na nag ice siya so we cannot uh, use that in that state 
that's why we need to tow. So, towing, when you say towing, you, from the refrigerator, no, you can just leave it sa ating room temperature, sa table, or you can just put it in the lower part of the refrigerator so that naglulusaw siya or natutunaw yung yelo. And or you can add cold water once you remove the dish or the poultry in the refrigerator, you, you can put it in a cold water. Or other method is you can microwave so that the cold or the ice will be removed. So when you are about to cook your poultry, the internal temperature must be 165 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a food thermometer. So when you cook poultry, you need to make sure that the temperature must be 165 degrees Celsius. So after cooking, now you will you can now serve your dish, but don't forget the hot food should be held at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer so that um there's no bacteria that can be present in your food item or in your dish. Cold food should be held at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. So if you need the food to be to be colder, you must have or maintain 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4.4 degrees Celsius as temperature. Then when you are serving food at a buffet, keep food hot with chaffing dishes, slow cookers, and warming trays. So you need to make sure that you have this kind of uh, materials or utensils when you are in the food service or in a buffet so that the food will not be cold. But if you need to have cold food no you have you should have bowls with ice so that uh, the food temperature will be colder perishable food should not be left out more than two hours at room temperature this was already mentioned a while a while ago so always have temperature above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So what will you do to some leftover dishes? First, discard any food left out at room temperature for more than two hours. So you need to mind the time because uh, after two hours, some bacteria must be visible in your dishes already. That's why you need to, to make sure that the temperature is above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Dapat mainit siya, okay, yung food. If you will um, let it stay sa ating room temperature na place. Then place food into shallow containers and immediately put it in the refrigerator or freezer, freezer for rapid cooling. So para mas mabilis lumamig, you need to refrigerate it. No, don't forget to have the containers for food leftover food. And then you can use cook left over within four days. If you uh, follow the rules that we have discussed today. Now, you can still use the leftover dishes within four days or more if the proper um, handling was done. And then, reheat leftover to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you will not uh, directly consume the leftover food. Don't forget to reheat it. 
using microwaves or oh, um, the, the stove. How about refreezing? We have mentioned earlier the towing techniques that you can do when the uh, poultry or meat is directly removed from the refrigerator. So what will you do now when it is already towed? Ibig sabihin, no, niref mo na siya, nag-freeze siya, nag na siya, and then ginamit mo, tinow mo. Diba? Nawala yung yelo kasi lulutuin mo na. So, when you have leftover food na galing sa towing, na tow mo na, na, nawala na yung yelo, what will you do? So, we have the refreezing. So, when we say refreezing, this is the, the meat and the poultry, the frosted in the refrigerator, may, may be refrozen before or after cooking. If towed by other method, cook before refreezing. No, if you you if you had used other method method aside, sa na mention ko na kanina, di ba? You can restore it. The dishes can be or the poultry can be stored again in the refrigerator. But don't forget to cook it before you refreeze it, so that some bacteria that must be present in the um, poultry or meat will be destroyed and then you just you can now put it in the refrigerator again so cold storage chart so these are the guides for you to uh, store other food items so when we have a sausage or other raw food like chicken and turkey the refrigerator temperature must be 400 degrees fahrenheit or 4.4 degrees celsius we also uh, you can store it for one to two days in the freezer you can froze it for at least one to two months but syempre lagi kong pinapaalala first in first out method tayo, no? Kung ano yung nauna nyong store sa refrigerator, it must be the first one to be removed and utilized. Okay? And then, we have the chicken or turkey na buo. So, you can um, refrigerate it for one to two days or you can freeze it for at least one year. So, chicken or turkey in two pieces, which means um, you purchase or you have um, shop chicken or turkey in two pieces. Ibig sabihin nyo, ready to cook na siya, nakat na siya, hindi siya buo. Now, you can store it in the refrigerator for at least one to two days. Or, you can store it in the freezer for at least nine months. And some other pointers when you purchase duck or goose na buo, you can store it for sa refrigerator for at least one to two days and then sa freezer ng six months. If you will notice, most of the food item must be stored in the refrigerator for at least one to two days. No? And in the freezer for at least six months to one year. It depends. So, you, you must um, bear in mind this chart so that you have guide in storing your uh, perishable goods. And that's for all for today. I hope you learned something. Goodbye, grade 10.